Around here, if you want to find a snowy owl, you've generally got to go east. So with those gorgeous Chinook clouds in the sky, that's the direction I headed. Though with all that snow on the ground, I don't blame you for thinking it still looks pretty nasty. But no, it was warm. A nice soft wind blowing. Temperatures just above freezing. Yeah, it was a pretty gorgeous day. At this time of year, with snowy owls down from their usual arctic home, you've got to go a little ways east to find them. But there's plenty of other things to see on the way. Like these horned larks. They're around all year, but they form pretty big flocks through the winter. Pretty little birds. Very hard to photograph. I found the biggest bunches of them over by Makepeace. The wind was blowing a bit there, and uh, this wind generator was howling away. Clever idea to harness the wind like that. I hope it was actually charging something. I'd come a ways now and hadn't found any owls, but I did find these guys. These are snow buntings, and they come down from the Arctic to spend the winter here too. And white-tailed deer. I gotta tell you, they are the biggest ninnies on the planet. I did nothing to frighten them, but, well, there they go. And not far from them, this girl. That's a female snowy owl. Unfortunately, by now, the sun was starting to go down, so I had to turn around and head back. Cross from Newell County into Wheatland County, and that all looked pretty much the same. But again, I've got to point out that it was nowhere near as cold as it looks. Now true, it was cold, but I'm talking around freezing, which at this time of year really isn't too bad. And with all that snow, it did look kind of pretty. So I put up my little drone again to have a look at all the tracks in the snow. And not for the first time, I wished that the drone recorded audio there were people on snowmobiles or juggling chainsaws or something off in the distance and, well, I guess you just needed to be there. The wind picked up as the sun headed toward the horizon. And I could see where it sculpted the snow a little bit up in the ridge above Crowfoot Creek. The light was nice, so gorgeous, really and it swept across the land and lit everything up oh so pretty. The only problem, it didn't last very long. And by about quarter to five, yeah, it was getting dark. But short as it was, it had been a pretty lovely day and I found my first snowy owl. You know, you just can't go wrong when you go east.